Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are here for a 41 week bump date. I'm officially overdue, you guys. Let's hop on into what's been going down. <laughs> All right, again, as I said in my last video, I'm just getting over a cold. It actually got a lot worse after my last bump date. Um, I made it through a couple of days of like 102 temp. Really glad I didn't have baby boy because I've been feeling a little rough. Um, I'm just kind of at that tail end now. I have a little bit of a sore throat, but it's nothing too terrible. When I updated you guys last, I believe, um, I was just over 40 weeks because I fell on my belly, had to go in, be monitored. Baby boy again was just fine. I'm just fine. Um, and then I had my appointment with my OB on Friday, which was yesterday. And I was going to bring you guys along with me, but it got like very chaotic yesterday. So anyway, so now I'm coming to you on Saturday, the day after my appointment to let you know what's going on. So in my, um, in my doctor's system, they have, um, they're not going off of my last menstrual period and my ovulation date for baby boy. They're going off of um, the dating scan at 12 weeks. Sorry, Kaya just brought me my water. <laughs> okay, so um, they're, they're dating, and I think I've mentioned this in an, another bump date, but their dating is off by a week. So like according to their system, my due date is January 31st, but according to my um, last menstrual period and when I conceived him, because again, I think I mentioned this in one of my other bump dates, but I can tell you the exact day that baby boy was conceived um, because there was only one possible day that it would have happened that month because I ended up getting a UTI the week after and I had like a three week long UTI and there was uh, no baby making the rest of that month if you know what I mean. So anyway, so I've been going off of my dates because I feel that they're more accurate and mine was January 25th. So. I am almost, according to when I conceived and when I ovulated in my last menstrual period, I am 41 weeks as of Thursday, last Thursday. And um, by the time I get to um, get through this week, I'll be past 42 weeks according to my last menstrual period and my ovulation date. And it's just crazy. I'm sorry, Kaya is like running in the background per usual. Now that I've filled you in on like the the dating so in the computer again they go off of they're not going off my last menstrual period they're going off of what baby was tracking at the 12 week scan according to their system my due date is january 31st so my doctor when i saw him yesterday um I was just past 40 weeks. So they did a membrane sweep yesterday at my appointment um, because baby boy was high, but he was low enough or he was comfortable with sweeping my membranes for me. Um, I was very happy about that. It was uncomfortable, um, but it wasn't anything unbearable. Um, I guess, I don't know, I've seen a lot of videos where like a lot of women really hurt during that process and it was like crampy and uncomfortable for me but by no means was it like excruciating pain or anything like that my husband did come with to this appointment too just because he wanted to be filled in on the latest and because i am past due so and i think i think a lot of um significant others come with to the pregnancy appointments but typically my husband doesn't um I don't know, he just likes to come to like the big scan. So like the first one where they find the heartbeat, he likes to come to the um, to the ultrasounds so that he can see baby. He typically doesn't come to like any of my appointments, especially when they're checking. But, um, but yeah, he was excited to be there this time. He was excited that they decided to do a membrane sweep to try and get things going. Right now we're at that 24 hour point. Um, I've been really crampy. The best way I can explain like the after effect of sweeping my membranes is I feel just very unstable down there. I feel like something's going to break at any moment and it just, it feels uncomfortable. It's a, it's, it's a bizarre feeling, but for the most part, I'm just feeling a lot of like menstrual type cramps. With sweeping my membranes, he also set up an induction day. So they set up induction for next Saturday morning, which I didn't even think it was possible to schedule an induction on the weekend. 
But um, next Saturday morning, I will be calling at 545 to see if they still have room for me, but I'm tentatively scheduled as like a will call um, on that Saturday. Now, according to their dates, I will only be 41 weeks in like two days, or 41 weeks to the, yeah, 41 weeks in two days. But according to um, my, according to my dating, I will be 42 weeks in two days. Now I know like all this dating and like the the due date is all just a guesstimate, but still 41, 42. It's a really long time to be pregnant, you guys, especially when like I've been told since 36 weeks that it could happen at any time um, because of how progressed I was at that point. So again, it's like all a mental game. Just prepare yourself, first time mamas, that you really could go to like 42 weeks. <laughs> Baby boy, again, he's very healthy. Induction is set for next Saturday. Let's hope he comes on his own. I'm gonna be doing all of the things in my power to do like natural at home induction. Um, I wanted to let myself get over this cold before I did anything crazy. Like um, I think there's like a midwife's tea. It has castor oil in it, but I'm gonna skip the castor oil. Um, just makes me a little nervous. So I will be trying a, I will be trying the midwife's brew or um, the midwife's tea. And then, um, what else am I gonna try? I have been, I've obviously been doing the Evening Primrose Oil and the um, Red Raspberry Leaf Tea for weeks now. I've been telling you guys in my updates that I um, use those daily, and I still do, especially now with being sick, that hot warm tea in my throat is amazing. Um, I will throw in a bag of green tea with it. Um, and little did I know that the lemon verbena leaves in this green tea that I use, I use like the Tazo um, Zen formula or recipe, and it's like a green tea recipe, but it has lemon verbena leaves in it, which I guess can induce labor as well. Yeah, all the labor induction stuff. I think I might make a video on like everything that I've tried or everything I plan to try just for fun. Um, obviously, I'm not doing anything super crazy over here um, trying to get this baby out. I just uh, I just want to try like a couple of um, nat more natural methods before I have to go in and be pumped up full of Pitocin. So, I'm thinking of making a video of like all of the things that I have done and that you can do um, for labor induction just because I know me at this point in my pregnancy, those are the videos that I'm looking up because I'm overdue and I'm willing to try just about anything um, to try and avoid the Pitocin. Pitocin contractions versus like natural contractions are very different. Like a natural contraction is like, ooh, like very gradual and like, yeah, it hurts, but it's like, it's more gradual. And then all of a sudden, like with the Pitocin ones, they come on and they're just like, they're very strong like right from the get-go there's no like gradualness to them and natural contractions still hurt it's just that they kind of work uh, they kind of go like this right and they kind of like incline and they and they increase in pain versus like a pitocin contraction just starts out up here and it's so strong again baby boy's healthy I'm healthy my blood pressure looks great the only thing that's really going on that's like wrong this week is I'm getting over this cold my glands are my glands and my throat are like still pretty swollen weight gain so I actually lost three pounds this week I don't really know how that happened so um I am still like I just I float around like 30 to 35 pounds so I was up I was at 35 pounds last week which I don't think I shared in the bump day but I was at 35 pounds I also had four slices of pizza before that appointment last week so <laughs> anyways, um, so yeah, I went up three pounds. Now this week I'm down those three pounds. And so I'm at like 30-ish pounds, 32 pounds something. So compared to my daughter and gaining 100 pounds, just totally different story. This is, I'll take it. Um, something I did want to mention as far as a symptom for this past week and actually the past couple of weeks I forgot to mention it in my last update um, my carpal tunnel is insane and my swelling feels insane it doesn't look insane it doesn't look anything near what I did my last pregnancy but I can feel it I'm like busting out of my maternity leggings in the legs which is crazy like I'm not gaining any weight I haven't been getting any weight so that's telling me that it's more than likely just like water retention that's going on down here um, so lots of swelling my feet hurt you guys like my feet 
are killing me because I has to my feet have to carry me around all day and I'm like this huge pregnant person it's just oh my feet are killing me my husband's been so sweet he's giving me a foot massage this week because they've just been killing me so um and then my carpal tunnel the my wrists are like the wor it's a, it's the worst at night. I don't really feel it too much during the day. If I raise my hands up like too much, then yes, they start to go a little numb. At night, I feel like my arms are just completely numb. If and I like to sleep with my arms above my head, so it's kind of a problem because I have like my hands above my head, my hands are going numb, and so then I switch and I go to the other side, and then I'm like hanging my arms off the bed, like trying to get feeling back in my fingers again, and then I'm flopping, I'm hanging on this side, and like I just, you guys, it, nighttime is it's just it's not good for me. I'm waking up every 45 minutes, my hands are numb, I'm flopping from my left to my right side, I'm trying to stay on my left side, my hands are going numb so I have to flop to my right side. I'm just a hot mess over here, but again, I'm, I'm healthy and baby's healthy so I can't complain about anything. It's just, at this point, it's just kind of laughable. My diet, um, this past week, <laughs> I have been eating whatever the frick I want, which is terrible, um, but I haven't gained any weight, so I don't think it's helping with my water retention. I feel like my face is probably a little bit more full. Thank you, McDonald's french fries, because you know that is what I've been craving this week. So um, yeah, guys, just all the non-health things this week. And tonight I'm going out to eat for my mother-in-law's birthday. And yes, I will uh, for sure be getting some dessert because I am having a sweet tooth this week as well. So um, I haven't acted upon it yet. I found a popsicle in the fridge last night and I devoured it. And so tonight I might get like one of those shooters from Applebee's. They're like, no, they're not alcoholic. <laughs> they're like pudding shooters, okay guys? Um, but I'll be having one of those tonight the show along with my the bourbon street chicken and shrimp is my favorite at Applebee's okay we're getting off track that's what's going on baby could be here any day again you guys remember I do have my I'm in labor video pre-uploaded to YouTube right now so as soon as I'm in labor I will make that live and I will share it on my Facebook on my Twitter um, and I'll make an announcement on my Instagram as well saying hey guys labor is coming um my husband will be recording the birth yes um we will be doing a birth vlog i'm hoping that if i naturally go into labor my husband totally has this down he's actually really good with the camera um even though you guys haven't seen him a ton he's really good with the camera um <laughs> otherwise if my induction um for next saturday is an a-ok -okay go then my sister will be there during the birth to record um and i also wanted her to be in the room um for the birth this time so either way yes there's going to be a birth vlog i am hoping that we're able to catch um, the entire thing um, like each step of the way sometimes it goes a little quicker than planned or things don't go as planned um, so I'm just in my head I have it going a certain way so I hope it all works out I've gotten a lot of requests for the baby mama dance uh, maybe if I end up being induced next Saturday I will do the baby mama dance while I'm being induced to try and like get things going we'll see I am a terrible dancer though you guys like I'm the epitome of like a white girl dancing it's like it's it's terrible like like I can do the sprinkler pretty good <laughs> that's pretty that's pretty much it all right well thanks for tuning in to my extremely pregnant overdue 41 week update make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel down below make sure that you have the bell notification on so you don't miss on my other videos lots of videos coming out for you guys um, obviously a lot of mom related content right now because guys I'm a mom and I'm about to birth a human that's what's going on in my life right now so that's what I'm sharing with you guys give this video a big thumbs up if you like this kind of video on my channel and if you like scrunchies because thank you Kenna my sister um, always leaves her scrunchies here and I use the heck out of them leave a comment down below with your labor and delivery stories I want to hear your labor and delivery stories I want to hear what you guys did to induce labor did you go to 41 weeks don't even tell me if you had your baby at 37 weeks I'm just kidding 
Just kidding. <laughs> but I'd love to hear your guys' story down below. So pop a comment and I will be active on the comment section for the first like two days of the video going live. And I love to go back and forth with you guys. And of course, make sure you're following me on my social media, especially Instagram, because that is where I'm going to be sharing the latest updates with you guys when I go into labor. I'll be sharing on my Instagram story um, as we get things going. So whether that's induction or I just happen to go in on my own, you'll be able to find it all over there. Thanks for tuning in today, guys, and I'll roll on into the um, bump picture. I'll see you guys on Tuesday for a trying to conceive tips video and then Thursday for a um, at-home natural labor inductions method video, okay? All right, guys, see ya. Yes, what's going on? I'm trying to show them my big old belly. Hello. Whoa. <laughs> Oh, right. Mom has been licking me. Let me think. All right. Bye, guys. And I think to myself, what a wonderful world. What a wonderful world.